everyone, this is Outwarns 8567, and you probably saw me get my butt kicked in the last episode at the end of it. The naked zombies love hiding in a certain spot. I'm going to set myself up. This could possibly be the final episode. We really have no stock left. Our shotgun has nothing. We got two cranks. We got our Breta and nine ammo in our clip. That's not a lot. We have one save. We have one herb at the moment. We have two combat knives, which we can't use, and a lighter, which, well, is done. So we only have this much left. And we have our Magnum with ammo, which I'm going to be only taking. I don't want to use the herb yet. So. With very little stock remaining. We're going to go down. To the final area. Well, areas. Rebecca, you're safe. I saw you in the garden. I've caught up with you at last. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Don't go out alone. Yes, sir. You know I paved the way for you. You know, guys, I'm actually quite worried we're not going to live. I do need an, another health item at least, I feel like. That's how I feel. Chris, as my subordinate, you have wonderful talent. I would never work for a company like Umbrella. And Wesker, you were formerly with Umbrella. What do you mean? Since when have you been an Umbrella agent? and a traitor to the stars. Now you're wrong. I was formerly with Umbrella, yes. But now I'm prepared to face anything. Even getting rid of you vigilante stars. Now, the worst possible situation has occurred. The failure of the experiment created a virus, a biological weapon, polluting the entire lab. No, the worst happened with a tyrant virus. I lost some of my STARS team members because of them. You killed them with your own hands. Did you kill Enrico? Really? Yeah. Like this. Rebecca! Don't move. If you do, I'll kill you. Chris, I have something to show you. Now, walk. Well, that's what happened to Resident Evil Zero right there. And by the way, the remake is now up for pre-order. For those that want it. This? That's right. This is the ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Stop it. Wesker, you're pitiful. This is your savior? You say this failure is your savior? You can make sure yourself whether Tyrant is a failure or not.
go to hell. Jill will join me too. What? Don't come this way! No! Kill me. Actually, he could. Why is nothing equipped? Four shots? Four shots? Wow. You know what? I'll take the four. I will take the four. Don't mind me button mashing, guys. I'm looking. Only four shots. Which leaves me with, let's see, 17 shots for the final boss. You know, it's electronically locked. I can't get the key, unfortunately, because you have not told me where the key is. Hmm, yes. So, the final stage is set. Oh, man. See. How about Captain Wesker? He is sleeping with the ultimate failure. Hurry up. I want to get out of here. Okay. I'm thinking what's left. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be insane. But it's not going to be impossible. What, Rebecca? I saw a research file in this lab. It said that a great deal of research on the tyrant virus exists right here. We should blow this place up. We are already into it over our heads. Rebecca, can you do it? Yes, sir. I'll set off a triggering system for a bomb. Okay. Now we have a chance to escape. See you outside the house. Just give me enough time to save. So, this is it. The last save. Ooh, this is gonna make me nervous. The last chance to save and get everything ready. Need this, I'll need that. This is it, guys. My last ribbon. Glad I'm timing it for now, because I'm probably going to die a few times. <sighs> yes, that was a nervous chuckle. No escape. No ribbons. Nothing else can save us now. What we have is all we have. Okay. This is where I get worried. Get off! Turn, turn, go, 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 go. In, 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 in. Okay, I took a little bit of damage. So it was not deadly.
Let's get Jill. I'm still in fine condition. That is important. That was actually kind of romantic. Well, we just gotta get out of here alive. Let's get going. Clear a path for me, lady. So yeah, let's hope I can get through this and hope this thing doesn't die, because if I die now, or this thing does, I'm going to scream. Bye! Ho oh, ho! Going for the uppercut and whiffed! Woohoo! I'll take it. Shoot. You didn't tell me there'd be zombies here! Whoa, puker. What? I'll take it. I'll take it. <sighs> Ooh, glad that was a, th a puker zombie near the near the steps. Let's get I going. Could you throw me a hell spray or something? Oh boy. Well, I'm not dead. We have at least one red, and we're not dead yet. Let's go in here. Please, for the love of all is holy, be as nice as you are in the remake. Please leave health. The game's not nice. Dear Remake, I love you. Signed, me. <sighs> well, here it goes. The final fight. I'm probably not going to be able to... about to say I can't really do as much talking because I'm gonna be focused on fighting this stupid boss <sighs> I'm trying to make sure my hot heart isn't racing I almost said it in a Boston accent I'm trying not to but yeah this is gonna be fun not
two minutes. Minute 40. Rocket! <laughs> I did it with nothing left. Woo -hoo! Woo! Gee, I'm dizzy. So I just had to show someone I actually did it. But the game is over! Victory! Can I play the next game on a, le on a lesser difficulty, please? <sighs> I don't feel like my heart could take it. <laughs> thrilling conclusion but yeah small cast they don't even get the last names because back then you know honestly who'd want to be credited for the be acting in this first game I mean it hasn't reached its charm yet in the second game, it has more of a charm, so that, w and then the voice actors come in and actually have their last names, and they get credit, and it's a lot better. But this first game is like no one knew how it was gonna come out. It had B quality, which we didn't know was gonna be a charm at the time, and all that. So yeah. Wow. It's finally over. I finally finished all of Chris's run, <laughs> on regular and remake. I mean, we did remake first, of course. So I think I might take the rest of the week off. Might not, because this is actually the two-year anniversary of the channel. And what a way to do it with a nemesis... Well, a tyrant explosion. Yes! So next episode, when I start the next recording session... We're going into Jill's remake run. You guys have voted for normal, so that's what you guys are getting. But I might turn it down when I do the Jill run on this game. Because, no offense, that was actually quite tough for me. I mean, I had some close scrapes here that I don't want to re repeat for you guys. Especially because uh, I'm also going to do the Jill run semi-blind because of how... Well, it won't be as blind as this run was, because don't forget, Jill's just a little bit different than Chris, and we've beaten a harder version of this on a harder difficulty. But yeah. If you want to count the difficulties, training Jill is the easiest. 
followed by training Chris, and then beginner Jill, then beginning Chris, then normal Jill, then normal Chris. So I did this on the hardest difficulty at start that I could unlock. So you guys are not missing out on anything. This was as hard as I could probably do. If I went any harder, hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo, I don't think I'd be here. I think we'd still probably be in the mansion, probably in the early episodes, unless I turned it down to this level. So yeah, you guys got the best out of me for this run. <laughs> so yeah, next time I'm gonna go and probably do this on a level lower, so that way we can get a run, so that way it's not, you know. You can see the difference on difficulty a little bit as well. But wow. You can tell it modes. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking and let you enjoy the rest of the ending. I hope you have fun and I'll see you on the next episode where we start Jill's run. See you then.